All right, you two, we back. Motor dropped in there. He's getting everything wired up right now. I'll show y'all the roof, though. Roof in there. That bad boy in there. Chrysler 300. Panoramic. It's in there. I did a little extra on this one. He gonna have a uh, he gonna have a whole lot of music uh, in this car. So he wanted a little extra security. So I went ahead and uh, made some brackets. Well, that, you know, this piece ran across the roof in the factory. You know, you cut all of that out. So I just cut some pieces of it, welded it back in there to the shell, to the structure from the uh, sunroof. You know, I just welded everything together, boom. I did it back there as well, both sides. And then uh, I usually only tack weld it all around the outside, but on this one, I came in on the inside and the spots that I could see, all the spots I could see, and I went ahead and tack welded the inside material too. Uh, wasn't a whole lot of spots that I could get to with the roof being in there, but all four corners, I got all four corners and, and a little bit down the sides. But this is from the inside, you can see. Uh, you know, the motor's gonna sit good. You're gonna have to have his custom headliner hey, made. Here, all of that, yeah. Here, make, huh, hold this for me. Make all the custom headliner, all of that stuff. Uh, but yeah, everything turned out good. Uh, like I said, we had went to Chicago uh, for the show and go. And uh, he dropped his interior off to Diego up there in Chicago. So all his interior is getting wrapped. Uh, the door panels will get done eventually in the end. He's having a custom rear deck done, but uh, he dropped all his plastics off, the seats and all of that to Diego. So he's gonna get started on all of that. I don't know if he's planning on taking the car up there once he gets everything done, the motor, all of that, or uh, if he's just gonna strip the panels and stuff and take it up there. I don't know what he what he has planned right now, but I just wanna give y'all a quick video. I said a motor in there, mounts, everything. Uh, mounted. He's doing all the wiring right now, getting it ready. Got to put the intake and the, the front runner system on there. Uh, I think he's going with the Dirty Dingo on this one, the Dirty Dingo front runner system. Uh, but yeah, other than that, you know, take you out here. We just did a. Uh, color change on the headliner, this SRT 300. Uh, my boy Rick putting the rap game down. Put some stripes on the hood. Going all black on the trunk. He's gonna have a spoiler in the back. Uh, it came in, it had a tan. It had the tan color headliner in it. Customer wanted the red headliner. So we got him together with the red. This this is not suede. This is just the uh, the red headliner material that we found. He liked the color of it. So we went ahead and, went ahead and put that in there. Uh, put the starlight headliner kit in there for him. He, you know, that's what he wanted. Uh, we're looking right now for some paint, some SEM paint to match this. Uh, he doesn't want to take it to the interior shop and, you know, have them strip this and do all of that. Uh, we was going to try to strip this, but I didn't feel comfortable with really taking it all apart like that. So he's going to try to find maybe some paint, some red paint to, uh, or black, maybe black. Paint all of that stuff black and his plastics. His plastics black. But yeah, it turned out real good. You too. Rick got the IROC Camaro in here, about to wrap it. Old school. The brush rose gold 4G Sport. It's about to get wrapped in a nice uh, rose gold wrap. Show you the wrap. Uh, that's the wrap that's getting wrapped that color. It's going to be nice. Uh, also, it's going to get an LS swap in it too while it's here. I think he's going with the 6.0. So it's going to have an LS swap in there. Yeah, YouTube, that's it. I just want to make a quick video show y'all what's going on. Thanks for watching.